birthday balloons falling limply to the ground. Satellites, medical scanners, and TVs fading to black. And twinkling stars in the night sky disappearing one by one. All in just five seconds without helium. What would the loss of helium do to your body? How would the rest of the universe react to this molecular on-off switch? And could this bring about the end of our solar system? This is What If? And here's what would happen if all helium disappeared for five seconds. Hey, helium isn't just your party balloon filler-upper. It's the second most abundant element in the universe. And the second lightest, too, behind only hydrogen. Helium can be found on both planets and moons, but most of all, stars. After all, it was discovered in 1868 by astronomers who observed a yellow light in the sun's corona during a solar eclipse. That's how it got its name, from the Greek god Helios. And even though this gas isn't something you need for your biological functions, it's an important part of your everyday life. I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> It's used in the lasers of barcode readers, medical machinery like MRI scanners, and scientific research equipment like CERN's Large Hadron Collider. And it also helps prevent stars from exploding. So would five seconds without helium lead to the biggest interstellar fireworks show of all time? Well, the moment that helium disappears from the universe, you'd barely notice anything. Our atmosphere contains almost no helium, so you'd keep on breathing without any issues. But hopefully you weren't in the middle of an MRI scan when all of this goes down. These use a ton of energy and have superconducting magnets that need to be kept cold. Very cold. Without the minus 269 degrees Celsius chill of liquid helium running through the wires, the magnets would overheat. If you were in the machine at this moment, you could get some serious burns. Scientists working with CERN's Large Hadron Collider would immediately run into a similar issue, except they'd suddenly lose 120 tons of liquid helium. And now they'd have increasingly hot magnets steering the machine's particle beams. And, of course, the worst thing that would happen is the rapid deflation of every birthday balloon on the planet. That would make for a lot of very sad kids. Okay, maybe this wouldn't be the worst. Because none of these problems would compare to what would start happening around the rest of the universe once all the helium disappeared. In the core of our sun, Helium is produced by the nuclear fusion of hydrogen atoms. And not just a little bit, either. The Sun produces 700 million tons of helium every second. This nuclear fusion process exerts an enormous amount of outward pressure. And without being contained somehow, this would explode, just like a hydrogen bomb. Good thing there's inward pressure formed by the sun's massive gravitational pull. This attraction of the gas mantle surrounding the core provides enough of a balance to keep things from blowing up. But if all the helium vanished, a large amount of the sun's mass would be gone, and with that, it would have less gravitational pull. This would upset that precious balance. So now, our sun would be on the verge of exploding, and you could count on that being very bad news for you and everyone else back on Earth. Now, with any luck, this wouldn't happen. The five seconds would be up, and our sun would maintain its pressure as all of its helium is once again restored to its rightful place. Yeah, sure, MRIs and the Large Hadron Collider could be out of service for a while, but at least you could spend the rest of your life counting your lucky stars. Although, make sure you keep an eye open for which stars those are. Looking up, you could see a permanently darker night sky. 
some stars didn't fare as well as our own. And as their light travels, you could see evidence of their explosions for many years to come. Now, you'd also be fortunate that it was helium that disappeared from the universe for five seconds. At least it wasn't something a bit more essential to you, like oxygen. But that's a story for another What If.